Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about week seven of the National Football League. We're coming off a three and one week. We're in the saddle here. Let's try to stay in the saddle. Uh, but first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me also uh, make the point that these are very early lines. The Monday night football game hasn't been played yet, right? The reason why we're grabbing these lines is because I believe these games are mispriced. Maybe, depending on how things break, later in the week I'll do an updated video. But I believe all three of these games represent compelling value. The first game is Green Bay at home laying two and a half points over the Houston Texans. Right, folks? Houston's offense still has me concerned. Green Bay, which was missing their quarterback for some of the games earlier this year, is loaded. Right? To me, Green Bay at home laying two and a half is compelling. The next game, the Saints at home laying a point over a rookie quarterback with a great defense, and that's Bo Nix and the Denver Broncos. I'm surprised that the Saints, who destroyed the Cowboys earlier this year, okay, we're learning more about Dallas, but the Saints did destroy the Cowboys. The Saints have Alvin Kamara running the football. The Saints' defense is actually very good itself. Denver's not going to be the only good defense on the field. And, of course, for all the problems Derek Carr has had, he's still a veteran quarterback with much more experience than Bo Nix, who has had a problem scoring early in games. I like the Saints laying one point over Denver. I believe you're getting this line in part because the Saints laid an egg this week. Finally, I like coming off a bye week. The unbeaten Minnesota Vikings at home, laying two points. I consider this compelling over the Detroit Lions. Detroit's loaded. They're playing great ball. The problem, though, is that they blew out the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, blew them off the page. And, of course, they suffered a very bad injury, a compound fracture, to arguably their best player. So... Just understand, I feel that Detroit, particularly given that they scored over 40 against Dallas, is just going to have a very hard time matching the intensity of the Vikings, who, again, are coming off a bye, are facing a divisional opponent, and want to prove to the world that they belong on this stage. I like the Vikings laying two at home over the Detroit Lions. Those are the plays I like. Let me hear your ideas and your critique in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.